if you're in your 40s or older and you either need reading glasses to see up close or you rely on bifocals or perhaps you have developed age-related cataracts and you're considering surgery to improve your vision so you can see far, mid, and near with the least reliance on glasses, then premium cataract surgery or premium lens replacement is probably the best long-term permanent solution to correct your vision. And as we move toward the end of 2021 and enter 2022, the two most common premium presbyopia correcting lenses that we are using are the Vivity and the Panoptix lenses. This is a view of the Vivity lens as seen through our operating microscope. It has a central optic with one to two rings that gives an extended range of focus from far away to mid-range. This optic design is associated with normal night vision, comparable to the excellent night vision seen in monofocal lens implants. Now this is a view of the panoptics lens. It has multiple rings in the optic, which enables patients to see far, mid-range, and near without glasses. The rings, however, do create visible halos around lights at night. So let me discuss how these two lenses differ in their performance and side effects. Both the Vivity and the Panoptics give A quality far away vision, but if I had to really get nitty gritty, I would probably grade the quality of far vision from the Vivity to be superior to the quality of vision from the Panoptics. Patients with these lenses generally see very clear, crisp, and sharp far away. In terms of mid-range vision, such as seeing a desktop computer or the dashboard of your car, both lenses deliver a quality vision. In terms of near vision, the panoptics patients seem to see very well at about the 16 to 18 inch distance from their eye. Patients with the Vividy lens, the near vision's not quite as good as the panoptics lens. And as a result, Patients with a Vividy lens should expect to wear over-the-counter reading glasses, generally plus 1.25 or plus 1.5 reading glasses, at least part-time to read small print up close. In terms of the quality of vision at nighttime, the panoptics patients will see a halo around oncoming car lights, traffic lights, brake lights, and points of light at night. They won't see halos around stars in the sky or the moon, but they will see halos around any pinpoint, very bright light source at nighttime. On the other hand, the Vividy patients have very normal nighttime vision. They have minimal to no halo around lights at night. In most studies, basic monofocal lens implants create minimal to no halo around points of light at night and the Vividy lens seems to mirror the quality of nighttime vision of a basic monofocal lens at night. The overall quality of vision of these two lenses is excellent. The panoptics gives greater range of vision and the Vividy lens gives a narrower range of vision, but probably over that narrower range of vision that the Vividy encompasses, the quality of vision is probably slightly better than the quality of vision of the panoptics. Patients receiving both of these lenses will notice significant improvement in their vision, usually within a day. And at the tail end, it may take up to a week for them to realize their best vision. Patients with a Vividy lens will need reading glasses to see up close. Patients with a panoptics lens rarely need reading glasses most do not need glasses at all. So if a patient wants to rely on glasses the least and they're willing to put up with a nighttime halo, they'll choose the panoptics. If a patient does not want to have a halo at night, but they're willing to wear over-the-counter reading glasses part-time, then they'll choose the Vividy. The overall satisfaction with both of these lenses is very, very high. No lens is perfect, 
Sometimes we'll have to remove a panoptics lens because the patient will not like the quality of their vision for various reasons with this lens. The Vividy lens seems to be very well tolerated. We have not used as many Vividy lenses as we've used panoptics, but to date, I have not yet had to remove a Vividy lens due to quality of vision concerns. We have used the Vividy lens in patients that have had prior radio keratotomy, and it seems to work very, very well. I have not used the panoptics in patients with prior radio keratotomy. Patients that have had prior LASIK, we've used both the lenses and they both deliver excellent outcomes. Patients with retinal pathology, such as epiretinal membranes or mild macular degeneration, we've used both these lenses. And I'll tell the panoptics patients and the Vividi patients with pre existing retinal conditions hey, your retina is not going to allow you to see as well as a person who has a normal retina. So do not expect perfection. Is there an observable reflection off the surface of the lens that can be seen at some times in certain lighting conditions at certain angles? Yes, both these lenses are made of the same acrylic material and there is a cosmetic reflection that can be seen at times with each of these lenses. What happens if there's a slight residual refractive mist? So for example, if there's a little bit of astigmatism or a little myopic or hyperopic surprise, do these patients still see very high quality? Yes. Now, some of these patients will need a retreatment. So we find that about 3 to 5% of our panoptics patients will need a retreatment, and that retreatment rate is probably a little less frequent in patients with a vivid heat lens. Let me talk about this slide. This shows the point spread function or the light distribution through four different types of lenses. At the top is a monofocal lens implant. The second image down shows the point spread function of light through a symphony lens. The third image down shows the distribution of light through a panoptics lens. And the bottom image shows the distribution of light through a vividy lens. The take home points are that the vividy lens at the bottom is an extended range of focus lens. It gives very high quality vision from far to mid, and it seems to be more of a continuous range of vision. The panoptics lens, which is the third image from the top, gives good far, mid, and near vision, but there is a little gap between far and near, and in optics, there's no free lunch. In order to get something, you have to give something. You can't have it all. So the trifocal lens, the panoptics, will give greater range of focus, but you'll lose slightly on the quality of vision. The Vividy lens gives a narrower range of focus, but you probably get a little bit better quality of vision. Another point is the Symphony lens is a lens that we used extensively from 2017 to 2020. But once the Vividy lens came out, I have found that the Vividy lens gives as good a range of vision as the Symphony and works as well as the Symphony in all circumstances with one additional bonus. The Vividy lens doesn't seem to give much of a halo effect around lights at night. The Symphony lens, on the other hand, does create a nighttime halo artifact that can be seen around points of light at night. The next slide shows a simulated halo effect around lights at night through a monofocal lens, a Vividy lens, and a panoptics lens. So if a patient wants to have the least amount of halo at night, they'll either choose a monofocal or the Vividy. If a patient doesn't mind seeing a halo around lights at night, but wants the greatest range of vision from near to far, then they'll choose the panoptics. One other fine point, some patients 
are simply not happy with the quality of their vision with the pan optics or a similar lens made by a different company called the Synergy Lens. It's rare, probably about one out of every 300 patients who receives these lenses, they just won't like their vision. And the only ultimate solution is to remove the pan optics or Synergy Lens and replace it with an alternative lens. The name of that procedure is called an intraocular lens exchange and the lens that we typically use to replace the pan optics or replace this synergy is the Vividi lens. One final note that I frequently stress is there is no perfect lens implant. There's no lens implant that's going to be able to deliver perfect far, mid, and near vision to guarantee that a person will not rely on glasses and which will give perfect image contrast and quality at all distances, day and night, with perfect night vision. The only lens that comes closest to perfection is the natural human lens of a healthy 20 year old. And thus far, science has not come close to reproducing the image quality that can be produced by the natural human lens of a person in their 20s. Hopefully this video helps you understand the pros, cons, and differences between the Vividi and Panoptics lenses. They're both great lenses. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. I hope this information was helpful. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.